Part 9. We are going to continue with quadrilaterals. You will find this on page 176 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Example 10. The figure shows a rhombus, RSTU, RSTU, remember a rhombus, uh, where R, angle R is U, R is U, that angle is 36, UT is produced to X such that US, US is equal to SX. Okay, so this is an isosceles triangle. Find angle UTS. UTS. Okay. Now, angle UST is 36. Di bisect the angle. Now, remember, the diagonals, again, you have to know the properties of a rhombus. So, the diagonals bisect the interior angles of a rhombus. What does that mean? That means that this is also 36. Okay. So, angle UST. Now, if I go and say angle U, UTS, UTS, this angle, okay, will be, but don't forget that this is a Z. Do you see your Z? So this angle is also 36. And now I'm going to find that angle. So angle UTS, UTS is 36 plus 36 is equal to 180. And it's the sum total of the angles of a triangle. Okay. So basically, I think we can rather write, we can make the extra space and say, and I'm just going to write it here, that angle uh, P is U is equal to angle S U T and that's equal to 36 degrees and then we can say it's the co-interior so we just have to put that in and then for this one we will say it's the angle sum of the triangle so for this one here we are just going to say it's the angle sum of the triangle okay Okay, and then I just subtract, and then I get that this angle is 108. So this one will be 108 degrees. And then in angle SXT, okay, SXT plus 108, okay, SXT plus this 108 equals adjacent angles on a straight line. So it is tx so i'm working out this angle because that is the straight line and then this one is 72 and then th i will say angle sxt okay s x t so remember that the base angles are equal so if this one is 36 then this one will also be 36 and now i can work out angle let's just see t s x Okay, where is T is X. I can now work out that one because this one is 36 and it's also the angle sum of the triangle. I solve the equation and I get 72. And then the last one, what type of triangle is SXT? Okay, let's just see. SXT. So what did we find? This one was also 72. Now if that will be equal... Can you see that the base angles will be equal? So this angle will be equal to this angle. Therefore, it's an isosceles triangle. Okay. I want you to do for me number A. Try now 10 number A. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 10. And we are going to focus on number A. The figure shows a rhombus A, B, C, D. Okay, let's just find it. A, B, C, D. There's my rhombus. Okay? The diagonal AC is produced to E. Okay? AC is produced to E. So that AD, let's just find it. Uh, AD, AD 
will be equal to DE. So again, this is a isosceles triangle. Uh, if angle ACD, ACD is 62, calculate angle ABC and ADE. Okay, let's start. Now, we are going to start by saying angle ACB is equal to 62 degrees. So ABC will be equal to 62 degrees. Diagonals, okay, it's, it's ACB. It's this one that's 62. Because the, a rhombus, the diagonals bisect the angles. Okay, and we can just write it here. The diagonals... Bisect interior angles of rhombus. This is very important that you know the properties of a rhombus. Okay, because it, because it helps you to find the answers. Okay, now let's start. We are going to say angle ABC. Okay, let's just find it. A, B, C, this one, this one, this one. A, B, C, plus this 62, plus this 62, okay, is equal to 180. So, basically, I'm just saying that, can I just show you? This is co-interior angles. So, this angle plus this angle will be 180. Oh, let's just redo that. And that's 180. And my reason will be the interior angles because AB is parallel to DC. Okay. So, therefore, angle ABC will be equal to 180 minus 62 minus 62, and that will be equal to 56 degrees. Okay. So, basically, I was just finding that this one will be 56. Now, let's continue. So, that's angle ABC, ABC. Now, angle ADE, ADE, this angle. Okay. Now, let's start again. We're going to say this is number B. So angle EAD plus that 62, we will now look, it's 180. So angle EAD, let's just find it, EAD, this one, plus the 62. Now why is it 62? Let's just find it. Um, just want to see EAD. E, A, D, this one, plus the 62, adjacent angles on a straight line. Um, let's just see. Uh, okay. We, we first have to find, and I'm, I'm going to put it in. Okay, let's just clean it. We first have to find this angle. So we can say angle... Uh, B, A, C is equal to angle. Okay, so it's the Z. Do you see the Z? This one, this one, to angle D, C, A. And that's equal to 62 degrees. And that is the reason for that is it is alternate angles because... A, B is parallel to D, C. Okay, now we can start. So we have now that this one is also 62. There is my Z. Now I can go and I can work out. I remember that the angles, this angles will be equal. So we can again say that angle B, A, C, B, A, C is equal to angle D, A, C, and it's again that reason, D, 
diagonals, bisect, I'm just going to make a cross. You can write again that. Diagonals, bisect the interior angles of a rhombus. Let's just move up. And now we can start and say angle EAD plus the 62 is equal to 180. So we are working on this straight line. Do you see? And now that will be adjacent angles on a straight line. Okay. And now we can just find angle. Okay. We're just going to find this one. So angle EID is going to be 180 minus that 62. And that's going to be 118. So this angle is going to be 118. Okay. And now we can go on with ADE. So we want ADE. And now we can say angle DEA, DEA is equal to angle ADE. And that's equal to, let's call it X. So we are basically going, and we call this x and this x, because this is base angles. And we are going to write it as uh, base angles of isosceles triangle. Okay. And then we are going to find, okay, now we're going to work in this triangle. Just move it up again. So we're just going to say x plus x plus 118 equals 180. So that will be 2x equals 180 minus 118. And the answer will be 62. And I divide 2 and I divide 2. And the value of x will be equal to 31 degrees. So let's just end nicely by saying, therefore, angle ADE ADE equals 31 degrees.